ZC Makeup, they produce one of the most unique, artistic, as well as luxurious looking makeup that I have ever seen so far. In this video, I am going to unbox and also review a lot of ZZ makeup from their Palace Identity line. So I ordered all of these from Shopee and for some reason, they are more um, affordable here in the Philippines compared to the ones that is available on their website. Let's start with the foundation. So this is the box of the foundation. On the side of the box, you will see the expiration date. The box itself looks so luxurious. It is available in 12 different shades, which is a very inclusive step for a Chinese company or an Asian company. Because in Asia, um, people would usually go for lighter skin or lighter tones instead of having like darker tone makeups. As you can see on the Philippine Shopee app, it only has lighter pigments available, but on ZC's website, they have different shades. I got this here in the Philippines for 999 Philippine pesos and it is 20 ml and this is a C01 ivory. I really love the product design so let's open it. And luckily guys, I found out look at that it's so beautiful. I found out that this is refillable. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to reuse this bottle? This product design is inspired by a phoenix, which is a symbol of ancient Chinese royal families. Let's test it. Let me just remove a couple of what I'm wearing now because I didn't want to start the video very pale. Okay, so let's start and I have here my little puff. So let's test it. I've actually opened this already because I wanted to know if it's refillable or not. And luckily, look at that guys! It's refillable! It is quite heavy. Let's do half my face first. Ooh. Oh no, my eyes. <laughs> but wow, look at that. You don't see much blemishes on this side anymore compared to this side. As you can see, I still have a pimple here. See, the blemishes are almost gone. Okay, that's the result of me putting on this. I kind of like it. And I did like a couple of drops only. So that is the Chinese Phoenix Foundation. This is the result. I like it. Actually, it covered my blemishes here. And it was just a little bit that I dropped here. That's good. Okay. So, let's rate this. Packaging, I would give this an 8 out of 10. Product design, it's 10 out of 10. It looks really luxurious. It's really, not really that heavy, but it's quite heavy. And you can refill it. Makeup itself, I'm going to give it... Um, Maybe a 9 out of 10. Next! Oh my gosh. <laughs> what I'm going to show you is something that I'm really excited about. This is quite expensive, guys. This one. Because this is a lipstick. So I bought this for 799 Philippine pesos. The box itself is pretty much the same as the Phoenix Liquid Foundation. But it is smaller. And the expiration date is 2024. There are 9 shades you can choose from. But many of the good shades are always sold out. The product design is inspired by the Imperial Throne in China. Okay. Let's look at it now. The lipstick itself has this ornate embossment which is just fantastic. So the shade that I got is MO5 Princess, a bit on the red side. I'm a little bit hesitant to use this because if I use it, part of its embossing will come off. But I have to. Bye bye. Embossing. Gosh, <laughs> I'm being careful. Mm. I like the color. It's subtle and it looks natural. I like it. 
Wow. And this is the result of me using it. <laughs> My gosh. So, okay, let's rate this one. So for packaging, it's going to be 8 out of 10 and it's because um, it doesn't have English translation just like the Phoenix Foundation. Um, for the product design, that's going to be, for me, that's going to be 10 out of 10 and it has this magnet here. And look at that dragon. How many times do you see this kind of design and craftsmanship? done to a lipstick never if not never it's very rare and the product itself I really like it it's matte a little bit powdery and it smells a little bit nice yeah it smells like powder I like it I'm going to give this a maybe a 10 and of 10 hours well next Oh my gosh, I am so in love with the product design of this one because it reminds me of Anastasia's little music box. Packaging of this one has a different pattern compared to the liquid foundation and lipstick. The box has English translation and happily a 2025 expiration date. And once you open it, you can use it for 12 months. And I bought this for 999 Philippine pesos. The design is inspired by a gold bowl cultural relic with lotus and mandarin ducks design. This design is the most treasured gold works of the Tang Dynasty. The product itself has sprinkled gold flakes, quite versatile as you can use it as a blush, eye palette, highlighter, eyeshadow, and bronze set. Let's test it. So it doesn't have a brush included, so I'm just going to use my blush. Look at that guys, it's so beautiful. Oh, isn't it beautiful? It has a mirror. So let's remove that. <laughs> and let's remove this. There. Look at that, guys. That is so beautiful. So you have here a blush and Maybe let's see if we can use this as a contour and the gold one, let's see if there's something that's going to change. And also maybe use this as a highlighter. So it doesn't come with a brush, but it does come with a pouch, this black pouch. So when it's inside your bag, it's going to be protected. Oh my gosh. Mm. Very pigmented. That was just a couple of dabs. I'm liking Palace Identity Makeup. How about the gold one? Let's see what happens. But maybe I'll use a smaller brush for that. Okay. Let's try to put it on eyes. Nothing happened. There's no gold. Only the... Only the pink one is getting applied. So maybe the gold is more like just a design for it. Let's try this darker shade. I'm not sure if this is going to be. Oh, it's it's not a it's not a bronzer. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> it's not a bronzer. It's another um. Oh, it's another blush. It's not it's not a bronzer. So that's how it's, it's another blush. It's not a bronzer. Let me just remove that. Um, just put a little bit of foundation again to fix that part of my face. <laughs> just a little bit of foundation. Just a little bit. There. There you go. There. See? I really like this foundation. There. Okay done let's move on let's try the highlight and I'm going to use here a lighter brush 
but I'm not quite sure if it's going to work because my face is too light so where can we use this maybe my nose my nose is sweating let's try my nose Yeah, you can use this as a highlight. Then maybe my eyes. My face is already too light, maybe. Maybe that's why it's not working. There. It worked. A little bit. Yeah? It worked. So that is it. Um, the this one the big flower I really like that as a blush and this one it's a little bit maybe too dark for me maybe if I'm going to use like lighter lipstick I'm going to use this as a blush and the highlighter it did um, I had to do like a couple of runovers got a couple of tries again to get the desired look that I wanted Overall, the packaging of it, um, it has English. Okay, this one, this one has English. So I'm going to give that a nine out of 10. The product design, oh my gosh, that's going to be a 10 out of 10. The product itself, I'm going to probably give it an eight out of 10 because of the highlighter that I have to do it um, multiple times before I get that proper desired look that I like. Next is since I am sweating with this Philippine weather, what we have here is the Palace Identity Reindeer Loose Powder. So this is a matte oil control moisturizing makeup. It is available in Jade Translucent, Gem Pink Nude, and Amber on ZZ's website, but on Shopee, we can only choose Jade or Gem. And what I have here is a Jade one. Expiration is at the back, so it's 2024, and has English translation. Let's that's it. But I'm not going to be using the puff, guys, because I don't know. I want to preserve it, so I'm not going to use the puff. Look at that! It's so beautiful. <laughs> so here it is. It's so cute. Look at that. There's a reindeer at the top. And this is magnetic as well. There we go. Magnetic. And we have here is the puff, which is I'm not going to use. <laughs> and here we have a sticker for protecting it. Let's see if we can preserve the sticker. Oh yeah, we can! So this is what we don't want to happen is the powder to go everywhere especially if it's inside your bag okay so let's test this out i'm not quite sure how much i should get mm, it smells so nice but it might trigger my allergies Smells like baby powder. So, hmm, what can I say? You know, I'm not really a powder person. The main reason that I really bought this because I really like the product design and I wanted to test it. So it's more like, <coughs> excuse me. It's more like a baby powder for me and yeah, it's causing me allergies because of powder. My nose, as I've mentioned, is a little bit allergic to dust, powders, smoke. So, there. I really like the product design though. So cute. So, okay, let's rate it. So, for packaging, let's see the packaging. Packaging that's going to be 9 out of 10. It has English translation and look at those embossing. I really like it Product design um, 
So it looks really good, but it's the kind of product that you wouldn't really want inside your bag because one, this might break, and two, um, there is a good chance that it will open inside your bag. So it's more of on a vanity or a table where you're going to put this, not inside your bag. And I'm going for that. I'm going to rate it probably um, maybe a seven point five out of ten. And for the product itself, it's causing me a little bit of allergy, so this is going to be something personal for me. So I'm just going to give it a 7 for the product itself. Next is something that I'm really excited about. This is the Palace Identity Tang Romance Makeup Palette. And yeah, it has English translation at the back and also the expiration date, it's 2024. Packaging is quite different from the other Palace Identity line. So this one is in a different color, gold, and also this kind of bluish and also coral looking design here. Just we're going to see it also in the product itself. And I got this for 1499 here in the Philippines. Yes, this is one of the most expensive ones that I got from the Palace Identity lines. Look at this design. It looks like a part of a small jewelry chest than a makeup. It has gold highlights, a blooming lotus in the middle. The base has this seemingly coral design and looks similar to Capis in Philippines. And the main attraction in the middle are these two lions. So the two lions is believed to have special powers that could repel negative energy and provides protection. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It is so beautiful. And then there are different shades that you can choose from on their website. This is the one that I, I chose and also on Shopee there are a lot that you could choose from and this is the one that um, piqued my eye and the reason is there are different shades here and you also have light highlighter you can also have like a blush a lot of blushes here and also gold I've never had makeup that's gold so that made me a little bit curious and also this blue one here let's try first this one It's not really picking up. <laughs> the color is not picking up on my skin, this one, because it's flesh. As you can see. Nope, nothing. How about this red one here? I think that's going to show. There you go. Oh, it looks a little bit orange on my skin. It's a little bit orange, it's not red. It's actually orange. So let's try this one, a little bit darker. I do not want to destroy the embossing. Ooh, that, that's more redder. There we go. And then let's try the blue one here. It might turn purple, but there. Can you see? I think it turned purple because of all of the red ones, but let me just... Mm, it's a little bit light. Maybe it's also my skin. And this really, really, I think this is going to be orangey red. Oh, that's light. Why is it light? Let's try again. And then let's reserve the glitter once later. And we have this brown one over here. Oh, that's really brown. That's really brown. And then let's try this glitter one. I'm excited about those glitters. I hope it has glitters. Let's see. Let's put it at the top. So, it's not that much glittery. Let's try again. Okay, looking at it, looking at it here, it doesn't look so shiny or glittery, but on face value, um, it has glitters. But on the camera, you can't really add there. 
you can see it a little bit can you see a little bit the glitters but let's try the gold one now gold one oh that's more glitters can you see that's a lot of glitters it's more glitters oh i like the gold one but i'm quite afraid to put it on my eyes because the glitters might um, go inside my eyeballs or on my eyeballs but let's try i like that one and the middle i think it's going to be a blush so oh my gosh that's the most beautiful embossment here i don't want to ruin it so let's put that here so yeah it's like a blush maybe it really is a blush and we have here the white one highlighter so let's put it maybe here yeah it's just a highlighter guys yeah wait it's not white it turns a little bit purple when I place my hands there it's a little bit purple guys it's not white wow amazing you can see it's a little bit purple maybe you cannot see but oh my gosh that's amazing I'm putting my hands. it's a little bit purple so maybe i'll try the gold one on my eyes and hopefully the gold doesn't go on and that is it for this very beautiful palette it's one of my favorite because of the packaging as well as the different colors Ooh, this is the first time that I've used such makeup like this I'm amazed so let's rate this packaging has English translation for the ingredients so cool and the color itself it's different from the other lines so I'm probably going to give that a maybe hmm a nine because if you want to have like everything looks um the same um this is going to be different so that's going to be a nine but i really like the packaging um the product design itself oh my goodness i mean look at that guys that's going to be a 10 out of 10 for me uh the product itself uh since there's a lot of palette here and you really have a really good mirror pick one oh clean the glitters is going everywhere <laughs> the product itself um, maybe I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 and that is it guys for this video this is the final look of me using Palace identity makeup and I hope you liked the video so don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel bye